Hey guys, and welcome to another Escape Wheel Watch Review. Today, we're going to be looking at the Daiden Design DI0873, which is a homage to the uh, Paddock Philippe Nautilus. So, uh, I picked this thing up for $33, guys, $33, um, and I'm kind of blown away by it. Um, typically, uh, they're like $37, uh, $40, something like that. And, um, you know, I think for that, I think at, at just the normal price, uh, it's an excellent value. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you why here. Um, but let's get into the review. So first things first, let's get in the dimensions. So I'm going to measure this in just a few places here, just because it's not a typical round watch. So across at the uh, 9 o'clock position, it is 42 and a half millimeters. And then... We've got 38.2 on the bezel, um, the diagonal on the bezel, is about 40. And then the lug to lug, is about 44. But you'll see it, it, that really doesn't tell you much about it because of the bracelet. But we'll get into that in a little bit. So for the case finishing, uh, on the top of the bezel area, you have a vertical brushing. Same with the actual case. Here's a good view of it. Uh, the brushing is actually done pretty nice. Uh, obviously not as nice as, um, you know, like San Martin, obviously. or um, But I'd say it's on par with uh, Pagani design. Maybe a little bit more coarse. Uh, but it looks pretty good. You do have a brushing on these side scallops here. There's no uh, drill little screws there like the original Nautilus. So it's a nice clean design. Um, you do have polished crown guards on this side. You got the polished ear, I guess, on this side, kind of matching the other side. Uh, so it all looks pretty good, I think. Um, you do have a polish on the bezel here around the, the entire edge there, um, this ear. And then you do have a pretty nice uh, polished chamfer along the edges here. So... Uh, yeah, everything is done really, uh, really good. I mean, for thirty-three dollars, guys, thirty-three bucks. The polishing isn't perfect, but it's it's really, really, really good for the price. And I would say, you're, you unless you're looking for it, you're not going to notice any of the uh, the waviness or you know fun house effects or anything like that. So uh, I'm really impressed with the case finishing on it, and uh, it, it sits pretty flat. You'll see that it's a pretty flat case design and the bracelet's pretty stiff, but it still works pretty good. So I'm gonna go outside right now and pop it on the wrist for you. All right, here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. I think it just looks absolutely great. You know, nice and thin profile. That's one of the reasons I got the quartz version is because it's so thin. Um, this is available in automatic, but I like the thinness of it. Um, yeah, let's get it out in the sun. You can see how it plays on in the sun. Nice sunburst dial. It looks a little purple on my end. Uh, hopefully it's coming across uh, accurate for you guys. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. I mean, just nice and sparkly. Um, it sits really flat on the wrist, but um, it's pretty compact, 44 millimeters lug to lug. So it's it's not bad. I hope it wears as good on me as it does on everybody else because it's super comfortable. And I think it looks pretty great. Let's get back inside and get back to the review. All right, guys, and back to the review. So um, the back side of this, you'll see it says Dyden Design Sport, and then it's got the model number there. Uh, it is 30 meters water resistant. I did pop this uh, case back off, and there is an actual gasket. So uh, that was, was uh, pretty nice to see. Uh, the crystal on this is just a flat piece of mineral. Um, yeah, there's no AR coating or anything like that, and it's kind of be expected. Pretty simple. Um, at this price point, uh, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I don't expect this thing to hold up well, but... Um, they at least use glass, so that's that's a positive. So let's talk about the dial on this. It is actually pretty nicely done. Um, again, keep in mind, $33. But you kind of have this uh, this horizontal teak pattern on the entire dial. 
You have simple Didun stainless steel printed there, which is fine. It's nothing fancy. Um, you have applied indexes at every hour marker except the 3 o'clock. You do have an applied date frame. It's nicely done. Pretty well centered, I think. Uh, the alignment on all the indexes on mine is spot on, which I was really shocked because I've heard some horror stories about these things. But um, I think those maybe were some early production uh, runs and maybe they've... Uh, you know, kind of nailed down the design on this thing. Uh, you do have a double baton index at the 12 o'clock. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. It might be just a hair uh, crooked, but I think it looks pretty good. Uh, and then you do have, let's see if I can get in here, look at these, the minute markers. They're actually raised little dots. So that was kind of cool and unexpected to see. Um, the, the dial on it, it is a blue sunburst. It's kind of like a like a steel blue, kind of like a, a muted blue color. Looks really good, I think. Um, uh, yeah, they did a, overall, I think they did a really good job with the dial and the indices on this thing. The handset on this, uh, pretty nicely done uh, for the price. You know, it's nothing fancy, but um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all loom filled on the hands and the indexes. You got decent size hands. It could have been maybe just a tad bit longer, but Overall, I'm pretty happy with the dial and the handset on this thing. Um, and like I said, these are all loomed, so here's a loom shot. So we have the Didun in the middle, we got the Pagani design sub on the right, and the San Martin sub on the left. And as you can see, it's uh, definitely not as good as the San Martin, but I was quite impressed with the uh, longevity of this thing. It's actually it's quite a bit better than the Pagani design, which uh, I wasn't really expecting, especially for the price. So I'm happy to report that the loom is, uh, I would say, slightly, I'd say it's average, which is uh, which is pretty good considering the, the price on this piece. All right, so let's talk about the movement on this. So this is the quartz version, and uh, I did pop open the back, like I said earlier, and I'm going to pop up an image here. This is running a Miyota quartz. So that's nice to see that it's a, a Japanese quartz. should be reliable, should be accurate. I've had no problems with it. It's a uh, simple push-pull crown. Um, yeah, no, no real problems with it. I, I've been happy with the movement in it. So let's talk about this bracelet. And there's quite a lot to talk about. So um, it's held in by uh, split pins through this hole here. And this little area here, if you ever wanted to swap it out, it's 13 millimeters. Um, the overall width of the bracelet starts at 24, almost 25 millimeters, and then it tapers down to about 17. Um, so there's lots of taper to it. Obviously a pretty interesting design, inspired heavily by that, that Nautilus. Um, but you do have this nice chamfer that runs along the edge here, which kind of follows the original chamfer from the, from the case. And then all these little polished bits in the middle Nicely done. Again, they're not perfect, but at a quick glance, and you're not going to notice any of that funhouse stuff. So, because they're they're not flat surfaces, they're all domed. So, it's really hard to pick up any inconsistencies. And uh, yeah, I, I think they look really good, especially for that price, thirty three bucks. I just, I can't get over it. Uh, the finishing on the bracelet follows along with the case. Nicely done. Vertical brushing, and then all the other little polished bits. And then the clasp on this, it's a butterfly clasp. I was a little worried about it because uh, I'm not a huge fan of butterfly clasps. and uh, But this one, I'm happy to report, is excellent. Um, it's pretty tight. There's a little bit of wiggle here. But it's it almost feel maybe because the bracelet is um, so stiff, it, it's almost like spring-loaded. Like you press these things and it just kind of pops open. So, um, yeah, I've had no problems with this clasp. It's very comfortable. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got no issues with it. Everything is done really, really, really well. Uh, even the, you know, the sides are polished nicely. It is a split pin, um, design, which would I prefer screws? Probably, but honestly, split pins are, are fine. Uh, I'm happy with split pins. I've, I've got no problem with them. There's no branding or anything on the clasp. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a solid stainless steel bracelet. It's a nice, heavy heavy bracelet and like I said it's a little stiff you can see that but it's not uncomfortable uh, especially for my wrist I don't know if maybe I just have the perfect size wrist for this thing but um, it just wears really really well I've, I've got no problems um, let's talk about some quality control issues you kind of expected at a $33 watch right 
Well, I do have some. So on the dial here, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but kind of right. Do I have a pointer? I don't know if you can see it or not, but right about here on the minute hand and right there, you can see little uh, inconsistencies with the uh, minute hand finishing. Uh, just, again, little tiny things. And then right about there on the dial, right at the tip of the pencil there, there's it almost looks like an extra um, minute marker. Those little dots that I said were kind of applied. It almost looks like there's an extra one that just kind of got under the dial right there. Uh, other than that, though, guys, I didn't have any. There's no misalignment of those indexes. Uh, the bracelet, everything worked fine. Um, like I said, I was when I got this thing and opened it up, I was absolutely blown away for $33. Uh, I, I just can't get over it. So. I think if you're in the in, if you're if you kind of want to just check out the style, uh, like I did, get this thing uh, for 33 bucks. I'm probably gonna end up giving this thing away eventually, um, but I actually I really like it. Uh, so maybe I won't. I don't know. Maybe I'll get another one, or maybe I'll get an automatic version. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but if you are interested in purchasing one of these, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. That is an affiliate link. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, and I really appreciate you guys using my, my affiliate links. This is not something I would have ever bought myself, but because you guys are using my affiliate links, I had a little extra cash. I figured, why not, right? And I've been pleasantly surprised by it. Um, if you want to see some more pictures of this, obviously I'm not going to be uh, putting it on any straps or anything like that, but I will leave a link to my Instagram, and you can check it out there, along with some of the other uh, watches I have either coming up or just some of the other watches featured on the channel. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, like it, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. That'd be uh, that would be awesome. Uh, we're getting we're getting close to a thousand. Still got still got a ways to go, but we're getting there. Uh, if you guys want to leave a question or comment down below, uh, please do. I will definitely get back to you guys. And I think that's about it. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. See ya.